This is my garage. I live in a one-bedroom apartment, so it's all the room I really have for my bike stuff. There's bike pumps, a hacksaw, a drill, car wash supplies, another bike pump, some miscellaneous bike parts, a tool bag, a box of hardware, and I think you get the rest. Oh, and that's my BMX bike. And that's my mountain bike and daily rider, which will probably end up being a focal point of this channel. Today, we're going to enhance my space by building a workbench. The first task was a trip to Home Depot. I didn't plan out my design, so I probably bought way too many 2x4s. Now I have an excuse to build more stuff in the future. I purchased that chipboard stuff for the top of the workbench because it was on sale for like $11 a sheet. I also picked up this saw because as you may have noticed before, I did not have a sufficient cutting apparatus for wood. And now it's time to design and build. I knew I wanted the bench in the corner by the couch. I also wanted to keep the functionality of the end table, so I planned on leaving some room behind the bench to access it. The bikes also had to be easy to roll in and out of their homes. Here are the dimensions I decided on. Height? I'll figure that out later. Now I had to determine where I would be cutting this wood. My plan was to do it on the roof of my apartment, but, well, this is where I normally plug in my electric when I come up here. I usually back in my car up here, and it looks like it's closed due to COVID-19, so I may be cutting this wood in my apartment. Yes, Dylan, you will be cutting this wood in your apartment. These bins will be my workbench, since I do not currently have one. Ironic. Alright, let's try to be responsible about this. See? Responsible. So this looks pretty good. Um... Looks like there'll be enough room for the bikes to clear. Time for a lunch break. We're having mahi and broccoli. And it's back to work. Well, that fits. Look, now we can say we have a functioning workbench. And with the addition of that last piece, the frame is complete. Time for the legs. About 34 inches tall is what I decided. Now, we install the legs. Now with legs, we really have a workbench. I added a backboard to protect the wall and I sanded it down. I also added some braces and we were ready to go. Now this is my garage. I'm really happy about how it turned out. Thanks for hanging with me today and I will catch you next time.